And so ends a delightful day. Here, your reward for humoring my selfish whims, plus a little extra for the trouble I have put you to. Something worth celebrating for a change. Only trouble is, the serving girl's still new to the job, so I can't leave her while I go and invite those I'd like to celebrate with. What exactly are you celebrating, if you don't mind me asking? I've come by a particularly fine bottle of red. A Gotan 66, no less. Gotan Rouge is the only good thing to have ever come out of the Empire. And most wouldn't part with a 66 if you held a knife to their fruits. So I've heard. Oh. So you know of it, then? Clearly, you're a gentleman of taste. A gentleman who might sympathize with my predicament, perhaps? Would you pass the good news to a few friends of mine? I'll give you a little something for your time, of course. Sounds simple enough. So you'll do it? Marvelous. Thank you. You won't need to go far. All three of them should be right here in the market. There's Aldrich, the porter, Milan, the butcher, and Bollock, a guard over at the North Gate. Three of the finest fellows in Boklad, if you ask me. Tell them to come to the tavern when they finish for the day. Stop by again when you let them know, and I'll give you your little something. <laughs> I'll be right back. I've been asked to find Aldrich, the porter. I don't suppose that's you, is it? That's me right enough. You need something delivered. The innkeeper sent me. He said there's a cup of Gotan 66 with your name on it when you're done for the day. <laughs> a 66? Look at me. If he's just got hold of it now, it must have been in the crates he had me carry down from San Brek. From the Empire to Boklad. You must be a braver man than most. That's a treacherous route to the best of times. Uh, such is the porter's lot. There's not a patch of storm these feet haven't traipsed across. They'd Soraflam one day, then off to Canva the next. The farther you're willing to go, the fatter the purse. Which is why there's no shortage of competition for some of the longer routes. I'd say I've done enough for today to earn myself a cup of something tasty. Thanks for letting me know. Most men would keep a fine vintage like a Gotan 66 to themselves. Not our Daddy! I'm hungry! Joseph's thieves really lugged their stolen wares all the way out here. A 
I think we found our thieves. They don't look happy to see me. Let's get this over with. Stop! Don't kill him, he's just protecting his home. Joseph? So the boy was right? I don't know you. Your porter friend sent me to find you. She was worried you might have got yourself killed. Have I been gone that long? It wasn't hard finding the thieves. The problem was knowing what to do with them when I did. I take it things are more complicated than they appear. I'd all but ruled out bandits before I even left the market. You know what that is? Because our thieves had no interest in gold or gems or anything they couldn't eat for that matter. Add to that the rumors of goblins in the area and the mystery practically solved itself. I soon found their cozy little homestead and all the missing food. I launched myself at them, full of righteous fury, but their leader was the only one who moved to meet me. The others, they huddled around that food, ready to die protecting it. They stole because it was that or starvation. And I've been there myself, back when times were hard. So you spared them? and earn their trust into the bargain by the look of it. These goblins aren't native to the area. They don't know how to survive such barren lands, so... I've been teaching them. And once they've learned to hunt and forage, they won't be fool enough to risk their necks in Boklad. I'm impressed. I didn't know goblins could be reasoned with. Do me a favor. Let the porter know I'm safe. I'll head back to the market once my work here is done. Oh, and... Don't mention the goblins. I don't want people coming here brandishing pitchforks. Not now this lot have sworn off thieving. Your secret's safe with me. I appreciate it. Thank you. Joseph's fine. He'll be back once he's tied up a few loose ends. <sighs> That's a weight off my shoulders. He certainly knows his business. He you found your thieves all right. And I dare say they won't be coming back. A good man to have around, that Joseph. And if he says there'll be no more thieving, that's good enough for me. Thank you for putting my mind at ease. Here, for your troubles. No doubt Joseph had quite the adventure. And how might the Crimson Caravan serve you today? 
Farewell then. Let me carry your goods. I'm cheap. Peaches and pears. Peaches and pears. Come one, come all. The caravan stops next to the checkpoint. Are you Milan, the butcher? That's me. What can I do for you? The innkeeper's just had a special delivery. He thought you might like to join him for a cup of wine after you pack up for the day. <laughs> he knows me only too well. And I've got a ham here that will go handsomely with a nice drop. Wine and ham to spare. Barclay clearly isn't suffering, then. Comes with being the place everyone has to pass through to get to everywhere else. Those who travel the Crystal Road bring all manner of goods with them. We get meat from San Breck, herbs from Rosaria. Why, sometimes we even see curiosities from across the Narrow. My old man knew what he was about when he set up shop here all those years ago. Anyway, thanks for the good news. Oh, you know what? Maybe I'll shut up shop early. Wouldn't want to keep our friend waiting. You won't find anything of this quality in Twinside. Tight fists. Let us through! I'm looking for Bolek. I was told he'd be guarding the gate. Well, you found him. You're not here to enlist, I take it? The innkeeper sent me. He's just taken delivery of a rare vintage, a Gotan 66. He thought he might like a cup. I've never said no to a goat hand. I'm not about to start now. Thanks for letting me know. You must be a busy man. The market would be flooded with refugees if we weren't here to stem the flow. Oh, my heart goes out to them, all right, but we've got our orders. No papers, no passage. Plenty try to slip past us nonetheless. And every now and then, one of them's foolish enough to try and force their way through. And when they do, well, things can get nasty. You know what? That wine's sounding better by the moment. Well done. I wonder if the innkeeper might spare a cup of that wine. You won't find anything of this quality in Twinside. Jug of snake spit for the road? Come on, come on! Out of my sight, wretch! I spoke to your friends. They'll be along soon. That's fantastic news. Thank you kindly. It's been a while since we all sat down together. And the way I see it, that wine is as much theirs as it is my own. How so? Well, I wouldn't be serving anything but slops without Aldrich to go and fetch the good stuff for me. And then there's Milan, who always sends customers my way. And Bollock, an even-handed keeper of the peace, if ever there was one. Those three are the backbone of Boklad. Lose any one of them, and the market would soon fall apart. And without the market, I wouldn't have a single customer. <laughs> I'd say that's worth a bottle of 66, wouldn't you? <laughs> and more besides. Everyone needs a shoulder to lean on. Be they world-weary innkeepers, or brooding swordsmen. Right, I'd better prepare for my guest's arrival. I hear you had me carrying a bottle of Gotan 66. If I'd have known, I would have sold the thing and lived like a lord. I'll settle for a cup, though, if you're in a sharing mood. A goat and sixty bloody six. Just as well I had something special of my own set aside. A bottle between the four of us might not be enough to drown our sorrows, but it can't hurt. Here they are, the three pillars of Boklad. <laughs> Sit yourselves down, gentlemen. The woes of the world may be monstrous and many, but there's nothing like a few good friends to keep the misery at bay. Never a true word spoken.
Breaches in place. Come on, come on. The caravan stops next. Juicy pears. Slake your thirst without a crystal. What I really want to be is a blacksmith. Here you are, good. Try not to lose it again. Me pass. You found it. Oh. Thank you so much. Nan would have killed me if I'd come back without it. I'll have to say thanks to Ellen, Theo, too. So should you, Hansa. You and your friends don't have to steal anymore. If anyone threatens you again, you know who to turn to. We do. And we already have. Ms. Earl's given us a job shifting the chocobo shit out of the stables. It's hard work, and the pay isn't half what we got from the stones. But if we stick at it, we'll keep ourselves fit. <laughs> You stick at it, then. And Goots, I'm sorry for stealing your pass. Eh, that's all right. I've got it back now. And all's well that ends well, eh? You said you're trained to be a blacksmith, right? Well, I'm gonna be your first customer. But I'm gonna save up all my gear and get you to make me a massive sword. I'll, I'll do me best. <laughs> Till then, eh? Place on the wagon. Remember, Goots, we're mercenaries. You hide us to protect you. But mercenaries. <laughs> and you remember the plan? You're to ride all the way to Twinside. Jill and I will go with you as far as the outskirts, then find our own way in. I'll buy that stuff I need. Right. And we'll scout out the Imperial's defences. There's a square with a big bell tower right in the middle of town. If you get lost, or out goes wrong, we can meet up there. All right. Let's go. Certain your father has no knowledge of Ultima. I am. I have no difficulty believing a sinister force has come to exert an influence on Sanbrek. But be that as it may, it is yet to claim my father. For better or worse, his radiance speaks his own mind. Then the fiend works from the shadows. I confess. When first you told me of this fiend, I had my doubts, and more than a few at that. A beast that labors to plunge Valisthea into turmoil, all in pursuit of your brother. But that wound is proof enough that evil is afoot. Then I have your answer, your highness. You will join me in my fight. I cannot. Not yet. Your Highness, please. As you are aware, the Dalmechian army is at our gates. They have lost their mother crystal, and with it all hope of a negotiated withdrawal. It is but a matter of time before they invade. If Bahamut is not here to meet them, my people will be slaughtered. Though not by Hugo Kupka, thanks to Ultima's machinations. I know the fate of your people weighs heavy on your conscience, but if we do not put an end to Ultima's plans, they shall face a far darker fate. The chaos he would wreak would sweep all of Valisthea into the abyss. The lives of every man, woman, and child in the Twins are at stake. I believe what you say, Phoenix. 
But I have duties of my own, and I must discharge them. Come what may. What do you know of my blood? I know that it is wholly unworthy of the highest offices of state, which rightly belong to those of purer breeding. Alas. Your bloodline runs through the Oriflam gutter, from a whore who weighed her child's worth in gill. Have you threatened my father? <laughs> of course not. I merely whispered in his ear. ...that his mongrel son is plotting a rebellion. What? Sylvester listens to the words of his astrologers. And they have ears too. You have been feeding them your lies! Should you remain loyal to Emperor Olivier... ...his radiance may yet crown your head with laurel... ...and not with tar. <gasps> Fork-tongued witch! In consideration of your long years of service to the Empire, I shall forgive this uncharacteristic rudeness. Now hurry and make ready, your Imperial Highness. Emperor Olivier expects much of you, Dion. Or should I say, of Bahamut. May your fire reduce his enemies to ash. Till all of Valisthea bows to its rightful ruler. There is another darkness that has taken hold of Sandbrack. And until its grip is released, the flames of war shall spread ever wider, just as Ultima wishes. Forgive me. My family has caused you much grief. You are not her keeper, Phoenix. This is a matter for the Imperial household now, and as a member of that household, it falls to me to resolve it. Such time as that is done, what strength I have shall be yours. Thank you, Your Highness. Hmm. Let us take to the skies together and bring a new dawn to Valisthea. I should like nothing more. Terence. My prince. Tell me true. Do you believe what I'm about to do is wrong? I... We Dragoons have but one leader, Your Highness. And we shall follow him unto the very end. Thank you. This is my decree. For their crimes against the Crown, the traitorous Annabella and her usurping son shall be put to death and the Empire restored.
One would never guess that these people stood on the brink of war. And they're afraid. They turn to drink to forget their fears. Anything you want to forget? The harbor is empty. And half the market stores too. The city may seem peaceful on the surface, but it's balanced on a knife edge. Were we to give it a nudge, it might be just the distraction we need to reach the Mother Crystal. I thought you might say that. We should send for Gav. We'll need someone to keep the fires we start from going out. And we can busy ourselves scheming until he gets here. I'll send a Stolas then. What's happening? I don't know. Toggle! I'm sure Goots is fine. He'll be making for the square. The one with the bell tower. In the middle of town, right? going on let's go and see right but first we find goats
to fall into a sewer. It is. The bell tower. Right. Let's go. left.
Can you see him anywhere?
Over here, Clive! Are you all right? Good. There you are. I didn't know there'd be a dragon. All right. Let's get out of here. Wanted. Something's happened. Forgive me, Yotam, but I must put a stop to this. Your Grace! So, uh, what do we do now, then? We destroy the heart. We might come back! As soon as the flames die down, the Imperials and the Dalmex will move in. This may be our only chance. And Bahamut has gone for now. You should get as far away as you can, Goots. What? A Nave you slot in the ledge? I can't do that. If you're staying, then so am I. I. I packed everything up before I made a run for it, so if there's out you need, just ask. But I won't be giving it away for free. Nan would never forgive us if I did. Thank you, good. <laughs> <laughs> 